Okay, so we've dealt with the uh, indirect hot water cylinder which produces hot water for our hose. When we get to heat pumps and certain biomass systems, we need to buffer the water. What we want to do is prevent the units cycling on and off. That's when they tend to use the most energy. And it's also a slight nuisance factor to them keep coming on and shutting down. Um, so what we need to do is to, to get the heat pump or the biomass to run for quite a while and we can store that energy as we and then draw it off as we require it. So we have a typical buffer tank here. So for our air to water heat pump uh, we have a small buffer tank which is this unit and then for our ground source uh, which is larger kilowatts output than the air to water we're storing our water in this buffer tank. And then from this buffer tank, as we need central heating to the underfloor or maybe radiators upstairs, for both of these buffer tanks, we draw it off. As the temperature drops, the heat pump will then cut in. So it basically stops heat pumps and biomass systems from cycling on and off. We buffer the system with a buffer tank.